Hi guys, we have a video for you today. The International Challenge Challenge the Masters Division for February, the month of February. And um <laughs> I'm gonna have um I did lose um pretty much with all of them, but um, I gotta post them up anyways because pretty good uh, video battles and how it was like kinda like all set up and everything. But um alright, so they um hope hope you enjoy this video you guys. Let's get started. That was really annoying. The freaking sky drop thing was like, ugh! Ugh! And then that thing using Stone Edge, like, freaking annoying, man. I suck really bad when it comes to double team battle. <laughs> I am not good with that at all. The poor Pikachu guys. So I tried sending out my Steelix. Um, this is kind of like a new team that I'm trying to test out for a double team. And I wanted to use Steelix as my Mega. <laughs> but apparently, I didn't do so well. And that freaking bird thing keeps using Sky Drop. <sighs> and it uses Earthquake, apparently. And I'm like, how is it still taking like the Dana even though it's an ant? That makes no sense. Such a piece of crap. Of course I use Rock Slide because that's kind of like the only move my Steelix really knows. Well, it knows Fire Fang, but, um, I tried using that and he ends up dying anyways. <laughs> and he gets confused. I'm like, what the heck? Yeah, I'm trying using Fire Fang on that cool look thing, you know, I'm like, ah! And of course it has freaking leftovers. How about that? And that bird needs to try to jump kick on my Steelix, which kind of sucks, too. This battle right here turned out, like, really bad for me. <laughs> but that was that battle. My Pikachu and my Tadena had no chance at all. So here's the next one. I have, uh, Villion, Steelix, Latias, and my Galilee this time. Against Jason's team. My screen is dirty. There you go. Sorry about that. Alright. So, first of all, I have my Steelix and my Villion out. I sent my Villion out because I wanted to try putting a Pokemon to sleep. And I, I was able to go first, which was awesome because I had to hold a uh, Quick Claw. I mean, my Villion is actually pretty good with the speed, but in most cases, um, this like, could be like a game ball or something and it kind of outspeeds it sometimes. Uh, I quite don't understand when it, like, really, uh, when it uses like Shadow Ball or something like that, but... And of course it has a freaking Lumberry and it doesn't work and it ends up killing my Vivleon. I was like, no! <laughs> I was like, you bastard! It's like, why are you doing this to me? <clears throat> of course my Steelix still survives, but apparently... Um, I was like, why did I use Rock Slide? It's not going to do nothing to Metal Cross. And of course nothing to the, the, the other thing, Terracon, whatever you pronounce that name. And of course it uses a fighting move and it knocks out my Steelix. How about that? I did not Mega Evolve my Steelix this time. Uh, just because I did bring my Galilee with and that was my Mega. And it goes straight for my Latias. And I was like, ah, oh, that knows an ice move. Oh, that's crap, man. That's so crap. Uh, I was like, I forgot that um, the freaking Metal Cross thing can know an ice move. And I was like, ah, oh, Shizzle. Shizzle of Shizzle. So I sent my Galilee out. I threw the Mega off the back. And, um... I, I don't know, like, they use freaking Quick Gone, like, seriously? And I was like, that's effed up, yo. And then he uses Ice Punch again against Latias, blah, blah, blah. Of course my Latias dies. Oh, my poor Latias. And I was going to use Earthquake on both of them. And it knocks out that one Pokemon, uh, Terracon or whatever you pronounce it. And, um, 
Of course it wasn't that effective against this metal cross, and I was kind of screwed anyways because I was only left with one Pokemon and it has Thunder Wave, and it uses Thunder Wave, and it paralyzes me, me and it messes me up, so. And it goes for the Ice Punch one more time, and of course I miss because of the Paralyze, and, and then, yeah, and then I die. Yep, I died. I died. <laughs> I would have died anyways, probably because of the middle class. What I should have probably would have done is, um, use Fire Fang from, uh, Steelix. So we have another battle, uh, of this time I have Galileg, Body of Steelix, and my Pikachu, and Gotshock, Pelagon, King's Gone, and Togekiss is evolved in this one, so let's get started. I'm not really good when it comes to double batting, uh, double team battle, single battle, I'm not better with. Um, I haven't really practiced with double double team battles uh, and I don't really have the right Pokemon per se to set up for double team battle but I tried this challenge anyways and of course the freaking name of Mega King is gone and that, I was like oh gosh that King is gone is still be threat to me I was like I need to get rid of that like as soon as I can um, and I know that Togekiss is gonna be pain in the butt too because I have one and it's probably just it and I think it was a Ser Serena Grace ability which is even more annoying, and it uses A slash, A slash, and of course it gets the flinch. Um, well, Kylie like doesn't get the flinch, but my body is when it, um, see, yeah, um, my well, King of Clock is the flinch, but, um, it uses it so many times on my body is, and then it's like, and my body is kept on getting flinched, flinched, and I'm like, what the hell? It's like, oh crap. See, I got flinched, and I got a move. I'm like, oh, you piece of crap. I was like, yeah, I should have brought my total case out in, the, in this challenge, but, oh well. <laughs> I would have definitely won if I had my total case. But, like I said, this is a team that I've never really tried uh, so much in double team battles, and I'm not really that well in double team battles. So, I'm a, lit, I'm a bit uh, new with this. I do. Um, but, I, I still... Um... Mm. Sorry about that distracted, but, uh, yeah, so, he uses Air Slash on my Pikachu, and surprisingly my Pikachu survives with the Air Slash, and yeah, 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 those that power up moves, uh, my Steelix still survives, and I'm like, no, I hate it when it does that, I was like, uh, you piece of crackhead, I should have used Fire Fang on Togekiss, I think that would have helped out, but I didn't, so I was like, ah, oh, you're so dumb, money, money, uh, no, uh, no more, you're dumb, you're dumb, you're dumb. And of course, it sends out the uh, Gosh Up. I should have tried using Icicle, Icicle Crash for my Pikachu on Gosh Up. But apparently, it knocks out my Pikachu anyways before I can even make a move. And yeah, that sucked. That sucked big time. Yeah. Of course, I still have my Latias. Last one standing, I think. Yeah. And of course, like I said, it kept using A Slash. And it just it didn't work out too well on me. And then I ended up dying anyway. Oh, look at that. At least I, at least, at least I got a couple of the Pokemon, which was pretty good. <laughs> I got the King is Gone and the Togekiss, and I still had to put, uh, almost the Togekiss. Um, but, yeah. I'll have to put a pause real quick for this video, and I'll be right back, you guys. Alright, so we're back here, and, uh, we left off here, and, um, so we're gonna go on the next battle. Uh, we're going against Sceptile, Sharpedo, Typhlosion, and Garlic. And this Mick, or my guy, uses, um, Mega Sharpedo as the Mega. So, yeah. I wasn't really expecting that. I thought it was gonna be, like, Sceptile or something, or maybe Galilee, but it ended up using, um, the Sceptile as its team. As its Mega. Ah, uh, Sharpedo as its Mega. So, again, I start off with my, uh, Vivian and my Steelix. I tried to do the old fashioned way by putting it asleep. And it worked out pretty well with that closure because when I looked at the team, um it and looked like they didn't have no items, so I was, so I was probably like, yes, so they're not gonna have like no berries or anything like that. So I was pretty lucky at some point. And of course Tablosion wakes up um pretty quickly the first try. I was like, no, or well, the second try I think it was. And of course both of them were dead. Uh, and I was like, damn. I was like, I need to get rid of that Teclosion because of that uh, eruption and it's gonna be bad juju for me. But, so, there goes the Mega Gallade. Um, I do my Mega Gallade. Uh, 
And of course, uh, his guy link goes after my guy link, the Shadow Snake. Uh, doesn't really take it out just quite yet, and I go for Earthquake just because it's perfect time to do so with uh, Melania's out. And it almost knocks out Typhoon, and I was like, oh man. And I'm like, well, Melania's just kills it all, so that was pretty awesome. And bye bye Typhoon, and I was like, come on, I've got to win this one at least, you know. But no, um, that Sceptile in this one of the Pokemon he sends out kicks my butt, and I was like, ah. Uh. And that set part was actually pretty strong. I was hoping to knock it out with Earthquake, but I guess it didn't, so... Yeah, and it used it. I was like, it didn't go after my Lottie's? I was like, why? I was like, oh, okay. But, um, I was like, oh man, I need to, um... I need to get rid of this, uh, set as quickly as I can, so it knows a Dragon-type move. And can easily destroy my Lottie's if I don't. And it sends out a Sharpedo, and then it evolves it. And I was like, oh, it's gonna be fast. I think it's gonna be faster than me. That's what I was thinking. Because, uh, Sharpedo Snow is gonna be pretty fast with speed. And of course it uses the ice move. And I guess it controls me. I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, why? Why me? I was like, ah, oh, it's so annoying. I was like, so close, you know. I have Sceptile and Sip and Sharpedo. I was like, no. I had to die. So the next one up against Metacross, Frolligator, Typhlosion, and Blaziken. And the Mega is the Blaziken. Um, and in this team, I have my Villion, Dragana, Latias, and Gali with me in this one. So, yeah. <laughs> I was pretty close on this one as well, but I still ended up not winning again. I was like, ugh. That's why I don't like double battles. I suck so bad at double battles. And of course, the Crit Clock gets activated. So that was pretty good. And it's gonna go wrong, so I was like, oh, great. And then Blaze again is gonna be annoying. And I put Typhlosion in the sleeve. And I was like, at least it doesn't have a berry, I'm saying, for now, anyways. I was like, I hope it doesn't wake up on the first turn, then I'm gonna screwed again. And so I go for the substitute and the data. And it attacks my Vivreon. Why doesn't it attack my Vivreon? I was like, screw you, Blaze again. <laughs> I was like, screw you, man. That guy was, that girl guy was probably like, I'm not gonna take any chances. That thing is going down. <laughs> so I spent, I, I take my Galilean out, Mega Evolve it once again. I just love to Mega Evolve with Galilean. It looks so awesome. And I'll put it best for Blitz on my Galilean. I'm like, it's not attacking my substitute. It's so weird. Like, really? I'm like, oh, the data's not a threat. It'll be all right. Oh, yeah, you'll be here. Just keep thinking that. <laughs> it may not be that of a threat, but it's going to be annoying, unfortunately. Because I used playing rough on Typhlosion, and of course, it didn't do a lot of damage or anything like that, but at least I tried, you know. I am surprised. My data has a pretty good speed stat. And so my body just comes out for battle, and it attacks my Dana. And it dies in this turn. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so I try and go straight for Psychic, try to get rid of that place again at least. Um, and hopefully I can take out a couple more, that's what I thought, and this one didn't turn out too well either, unfortunately, because uh, I couldn't really attack him too much, so I kept on just using the cover and the cover, because uh, my body has got nothing against with Metacross or anything like that. And Typhlosion just keeps using Swift, 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 and he uses Meta, um, uh, Mia Smash, or whatever it's called. And so I go for Recover, like I said, and <laughs> I think he was, I think that person was getting annoyed because I kept on healing myself, healing myself. <laughs> that was hilarious. And then eventually it uses Overheat on me. He's probably like, you know what, forget this. <laughs> but I ended up dying anyways. <laughs> See, he uses Swift. He still uses Media Smash. He thinks he's gonna knock me out, and I go for recover again. <laughs> so that guy was like, "Oh, forget this! I'm gonna use Overheat." <laughs> and it does a bit more damage, of course. And I die. <laughs> I hate double battles. I need to, I need to uh, build a better team strategy for um, double battles. <laughs> 
But that was this battle. I uh, want to go for the next one. I got uh, this, this one and one more. And of course it has a Beedrill. Uh, uh, what's his name? Delfox, uh, Kanyard or whatever, and a Maniana. And I have my team. Um, yeah, well this one uh, was a bit awkward, I guess. Um, I was really close on this one, I believe. Um, I sent my Zillion out and uh, team up with my Gadena uh, again, and my thing uh, activates, and I use Substitute first this time because I was like, I'm gonna see um, how long I can last on this, and I use Substitute again on my Gadena. I'm not too worried about my Gadena losing the health because um, it knows Cheek Pouch and um, it has Recycle. So I use that. This, this is the battle where it got um, my Gadena and got annoyed. Um, of course, it paralyzes my Zillion, so I, I got screwed. So my plan kind of like backfired a little bit. I used Play Rough on my Deanna because I knew it was going to take it out pretty efficiently. Um, not a KO, but it did quite a bit of a damage. Because uh, the stock type. Um, yeah, so my stuff is two phase, and my Zillion is still paralyzed. And of course, it's annoyed me big time because I was like, damn, I'm going to die. And it goes for my Helion. I guess it's not doing too much against my Gadena at the moment. Um, probably because they're like, oh man, it knows Sleep Powder. I gotta get rid of it quickly, you know. And that thing uses freaking uh, agility, trying to raise it up in the more and whatnot. I set out my Mega Galilee, Mega Walmart, bam bam. <laughs> and I think I use Break Break on um, Ponyon. Yeah. Why is it in Ponyon? I don't know what the name is. I get that thing of you. Uh, but it knocks him out. Yes, I was like, yeah. And I use Play Wolf on Mariana and it dies. Woohoo! Bye bye, Mariana. Good riddance. I was like, you were a threat to my guy Link and my Pokemon. And of course, Delphox comes out. And, uh, the Beedrill, which is a Mega Beedrill, Mega Ball. I was like, what? Why? I was like, well, uh, I'll try taking it out, but, uh, I tried taking out Delphox. Let's take a cut. Because it is Pop Psychic, and so, which is not too bad. And it uses Daisy Glam, I like, no, I hate that move. So my Substitute phase, and I think I use Substitute again on the Dana. Um, and the Galilee disappears, so my Lottie comes out now. And I just play rough on Beedra, I was like, why did I do that? I was like, I don't know. But I did. I, I could have used Bolt Switch on it, I guess. That probably would have been better at least, but, you know. And it knocks out my Nadia's, so my Nadia's dies, didn't even get a chance to battle. I was like, what the heck? It's like, and the thing destroys my Dekena, almost destroys it, and my Barry activates, and then I use, uh, I think I, try, my Cheek Pouch activates as well. So, <laughs> I use Substitute again! Yay me! But there's nothing I can do anyways, because <laughs> I want to die. That thing tries to do Poison Jab on me. And I think I, and that uses flame flow and I die. How about that? Sorry, Dana. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. But that was that battle. Didn't turn out too well. It was a pretty close call, I guess. And this is the last one. And this one was really, really annoying. Uh, Swampfort was really annoying. Uh, the Charizard was the, was the Mega. Raikou was pretty annoying. Latios, uh, Latios didn't really come out. Uh, just because Swamp Fort kept using Dive, and Raikou, uh, I believe, paralyzed one, one of my Pokemon, which was the uh, Vivillion, and it uses Discharge stronger, and it freaking annoyed me big time. I was like, I can't really use an electric move on um, Swamp Fort because it's also Pop Valentine, so that didn't really help me too much. Yeah. So I put Raikou asleep, trying to elbow to set up at least, hopefully. I go for substitute under Dana. Um, I think it uh, does die, like I mentioned. I try to set it up with Trevor Dan. Hopefully, I can take him on, but I messed up, I guess. Uh, I didn't do exactly the way I, I could have done. But then, even so, it uses discharge, it wakes up. Paralyzes my Pokemon, which really sucks. I was like, what the heck? I was like, ugh. Use Play Rough on my two. They didn't do nothing. And I was like, well, I'm going to be screwed. So, of course, Swamp Fox Dive comes in at um, play. Takes out my substitute. My quick lock. <laughs> and, of course, I'm paralyzed, so I can't do anything. 
which really sucked, because I was like, what the heck, man, what the heck. I was like, I should have put it like a, uh, berry on it. My berry's about to run out. So, yeah. Sorry about that. I ran out of memory on my thing, so kind of missed a little bit. But anyways, my thing that I used um, activated its cheap pouch ability and um, used the berry so it regains its health. And this is where I'm at. So Gallery Rain paralyzed once again with that freaking right here. I tried making it out, taking it out, and I did. So that was success. <laughs> of course, Swampfront is still using dive, and it uses on, keeps on doing it on my Dedena. Um, my sub still keeps fading away, and Charles all comes out. Mega evolves it to the dragon one. I think Mega uh, Y uh, X version, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, so Mega evolves and uses stream for my Galate. Eventually, my Galate dies. My Dana still lives for now. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So it's kind of like a recycle thing here. Use Break Break on Swamp Front. Mm, half of the damage, but not too much. Um, yeah, but I die anyway. <laughs> I die anyways, but my Dana is the only one that kind of lasts longest here. Yeah. Uh, I think I use Recycle on the Dana to regain health. And my Lottie just comes out. Um, I knew it was gonna do a dragon move on my Lalia, so I was like, no! So I, I used the dragon move as well on it. And almost takes it out, but not quite yet. And it is a bit faster, so I was like, ah, oh, damn. Only if I was faster, I could've won it. I could've beaten it. But no, it goes first and destroys my Lalia. But my Kadena regains health and activates Cheek, cheek Pouch. So I regain full health again. And all that good stuff. And Swampfoot uses Slump Bomb. Nearly takes out my Kadena. And... Yeah, like I said, Charizard uses the dragon move again. My Lottius dies and had no chance. Uh, could have, but didn't. And yeah, I used Volt Switch on the front front. Because uh, I knew I was going to die anyway, so it didn't make any sense whatsoever. So I died, and that was the end of this battle. <laughs> but hopefully you enjoyed this video, this long video. I think it's like a 15 minute video or something. Like that. Uh, this is the International Challenge, the Masters Division for the month of February. I uh, hope you enjoyed this double battle of uh, videos that I did, um, all well, the battles that I had done. And it was pretty interesting, even though I lost with every single one. I mean, it was times when I was pretty close, and then I was, like, screwed and got messed up and whatnot. But, I uh, hope you still enjoyed this video. Give us thumbs up, post comments, uh, whatnot. Um, subscribe to this channel if you haven't. I'll have more upcoming videos like this in the future. And, alright, you guys, thanks for watching. Bye!